good friend Brian Chan is known in part for his simple patterns that catch fish in a variety of situations. Brian's baby damsel is a prime example. Although originally intended to suggest tiny, immature damselfly nymphs, this pattern also works well as a microleech and especially in the fall when trout are fixated on tiny scuds. Besides the hook and thread, you'll only need three ingredients to tie this deadly little fly. So let's tie the baby damsel. I've got a straight eye scud hook in the vise, uh, number 12, with a 332nd gold bead. I'm going to attach some light olive MFC 8 dot thread here. Get that started. Trim away the excess tying thread and cover the hook shank all the way down into the bend with the tying thread. This fly is very simple. Really after the hook and the bead there's two other materials, wire and marabou. For the tail and the body we're going to use some UV2 marabou in medium olive. I tie these in medium olive and perhaps a light olive. They work really well. And your marabou plume you're looking for if you can, nice fine tips that quickly taper into the fuzz or the f along the shank here, the, the little barbs or barbels standing up. That's what you're looking for. Fine tips that quickly progress into the uh, fuzzier looking marabou. We don't need a lot. So I'm just going to strip off perhaps no more than an inch off the side of the plume. I'm going to stand the plume perpendicular to the stem, this evens up the tips and then just strip away the clump roll it in the fingers if the tips are a little ratty that's okay, we can do a light pinch to them but I don't want to make it uh, um, too much like the end of a paintbrush so we want the tail about the shank length long the tail is almost non-existent on this fly frankly and we're just going to pinch that in place, one wrap, two wraps around, get that secured in. I'm going to carry the thread forward a little bit. You can moisten the marabou if you want just to keep it all under control because we're not trimming this off. This is going to be secured down. So we've got our little sparse tail in here. Not very long at all. Shank length, maybe a little bit long. You can see it almost, as I moistened it, it almost disappears. We're going to now tie in a section of small gold wire right along the side of the hook. Just get that in place. Carry our tying thread forward a little bit more. And then we're going to take the marabou. We're going to gather it and just fold it back and secure it right back to the base of the tail and then we'll come forward with the tying thread, be careful of that hook shank, uh, sorry hook point and my wire is a bit long so I'm just going to trim it and going back into the scissors to protect the tips and secure that right the way along the shank directly up behind the bead. Push that bead tight against the hook eye. Now we're going to take the marabou, stroke it together. I'm going to make one turn, or a half turn rather, underneath the shank. And using my thumb and forefinger, I'm just going to spin it. This will strengthen the, the marabou and also make those little fibers radiate out. And we're just going to now wind this forward, in close touching turns, one wrap right in front of the other. And if you want to give it another spin halfway along, Take that right up directly behind the bead as tight as we dare. Weave that in. One, two, just three wraps. I'm going to come in, trim away the excess, expose that back a little bit. Again, you moisten your hands. You can see it's a delicate little fuzzy body. Now we're just going to take our wire and weave it through the marabou using a zigzag motion so you can sort of stand that marabou up. Again a very simple tie here but deadly effective. Bring that up, tie off the 
wire directly behind the bead over top a couple of times, a couple of times in front and then I'm just going to put my thumbnail right on the tie-off junction using a pulling and twisting motion break away the excess wire and then we want to apply head cement so again I'm just moistening the marabou to keep it out of the way and then we're just going to put a slight coating of super glue right here brushable super glue onto the tying thread I'm going to let the tying thread carry that super glue right into the tie off point so we don't mat any marabou down and then we're just going to grab our whip finisher three to five turn whip finish whoops directly behind the bead to finish the fly and there you have it deadly simple the baby damsel. For more information on fly fishing and still water fly fishing in particular, please visit my website at flycraftangling.com. Here you'll find fishing tips, fly patterns, articles, information regarding my seminars and schools, along with links to my blog and mine and Brian Chan's online still water fly fishing shop. You can also visit our store directly at stillwaterflyfishingstore.com. In addition, you can also follow me through my social media channels, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, and please take the time to watch my other tying videos as well.